chlorpromazine is the generic name for the trade name medication Thorazine. Okay, the indication for this medication is second-line treatment of schizophrenia and psychosis, nausea and vomiting, pre-op sedation, acute intermittent porphyria, headache, and bipolar. Let's talk about acute intermittent porphyria in case you're not aware of it. What it does is it really, it, it's... It's, it's a metabolic disorder that affects the production of heme, which is the oxygen binding uh, portion of hemoglobin, right? So acute intermittent porphyria uh, generally uh, shows up after puberty, and it's something that affects the he production of heme, okay? So basically what it's most often given for is treatment of schizophrenia and psychosis. It's it's not the first line treatment of nausea, vomiting, and but it, and it can also be given for pre-op sedation. So when we talk about the nausea and vomiting, what will generally happen is we'll um, start the patient out on Zofran, and then we can kind of up it as the patient does not respond to the Zofran. So we can do like um, Compazine, and then we can do like chlorpromazine and things like that to try to, to, try to uh, treat the, the, uh, the, the nausea and vomiting, okay? So the actions, what it does is it is exhibits an anticholinergic activity and it alters the effects of dopamine in the central nervous system. So when we talk about anticholinergic, what we're talking about obviously is we're talking about the... Um, we're talking about the, the blocking the neurotransmitter acetylcholine in the peripheral nervous system. So when we talk about our our central and, and our, our CNS, we have our uh, peripheral nervous system and our autonomic nervous system, okay? And so with part of our... Uh, our autonomic nervous system, we have our parasympathetic nervous system, which kind of controls our rest and digest portion. And that acetylcholine works within the parasympathetic system to kind of drive those activities. So when we block the acetylcholine in the parasympathetic nervous system, we kind of get these fight or flight type symptoms, this dry mouth and things like that. Okay, so its therapeutic class is antipsychotic and antiemetic. And again, remember our action is blocking or, or having this anticholinergic effect and altering the effects of dopamine. And so by altering the effects of dopamine, we kind of deal with our schizophrenia, our psychosis and things like that. And these anticholinergic properties kind of help with this nausea, vomiting and sedation. Okay. So therapeutic class is antipsychotic, antiemetic. Pharmacologic class is phenothiazine, which means dopamine uh, 2 receptor antagonist. Okay. So some of the nursing considerations to keep in mind is that this can lead to neuroleptic malignant syndrome. Very important to kind of monitor our patient, um, their temperature and everything like that to, to monitor for this neuroleptic malignant syndrome. It can lead to sedation. It can lead to tardive dyskinesia, that lip smacking, pill rolling, tongue rolling um, symptoms, hypotension, and agranulocytosis. We're going to want to monitor our mental status prior to and during treatment to see if there's any sort of change with this patient neurologically. We're going to want to monitor blood pressure, and we're going to want to monitor and ensure that the patient is taking the medication as prescribed, especially if we're giving this for our schizophrenia and our psychosis. We're going to want to monitor our CBC and liver function test as it can alter our liver panel, and we want to instruct the patient not to skip a dose or not to ever double dose. So if they miss a medication, we don't want them to double dose, and we want to make sure they never skip a medication. A lot of times with these uh, schizophrenia and psychosis type medications, the patient's feeling better. They'll start skipping doses because they're feeling like, well, medication worked. I feel better now. Everything's cool. So that's chlorpromazine. Thorazine has a wide range of things that we can use it for because of its anticholinergic effects and its effects on in the CNS on dopamine. Okay. So that is chlorpromazine. This has been another episode of the nursing.com MedMaster podcast. My name is John Haas, RN, CCRN alumnus. And I want to give you our free download of the 50 most commonly prescribed medications. To get that free download, just go to nursing.com slash 50 meds. That's five zero nursing.com slash 50 meds. We love you guys. We want you to succeed. That's why we provide clear, concise, and visual supplement for nursing school and the clinical floor. We love you guys. Go out and be your best selves. Happy nursing.